And, uh, here's the show's anti-slip locks. They're designed locks the wrench on the fastener, prevents slippage and knuckle injuries. But then again, I doubt that's going to stop you from busting your knuckles with the wrenches, but... Uh, 72 gear system for low arc swing. Over here it says double anti-slip rings on socket provides improved grip. And T-handle offers quick change key for the fast and easy bit change. It'll focus. So, but yeah. So, we'll go ahead and we'll get this open. It's real easy. This ain't how it comes at the store. They, they normally have a security thing on it. Uh, but with this tool set compared to that tool set, it's got big beefy metal latches. And they're actually on the bottom side, so you ain't got to really worry about uh, the them coming down and getting in between the case. It is a... Let me get this figure out real quick. It's a Bosch Stitch uh, tool set. So I just recently been. I don't know how, if it's been a while there. You're at anyone else's Walmart, but at our Walmart, it's only been there about maybe four months or five months, something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, basically, you open it up. This has a lot more wrenches. It's got 10 total wrenches, it's got 5 metric, 5 SAE. Uh, with this one, it has deep wells for all three sets, for the half quarter inch, the 3 eighths inch, and the one half inch, as you can see. The other set did not have any deep wells for the one inch, or half inch. Uh, with the actual thing spots that hold the sockets, at least these ones here, it feels real good, nice and tight, which will be the same for these. Uh, these ones are a little bit looser, but that's for the quarter inch drive. Uh, this here is foam to keep the stuff from banging against each other, and it also has the warranty information, basically, for it, which these do have a lifetime warranty, as you can see right here. Uh, so, as it says here, it says Boss Stitch, designed for the professional, built to last. But don't know about that, because I've never really messed with this company's stuff yet, uh, but, uh, we'll be getting into, we'll see how it lasts. Uh, nice thing about this kit, these ones are the half-inch drive ratchets, or sockets, no normal size sockets. It goes from 13 millimeter up to, I believe it's, what is this? A 24 millimeter. My phone will focus. But you can see it's a 24 millimeter. But yeah, and for the SAE stuff, it goes from uh, seven sixteenths, which well, you can't see that at all. But uh, focus. I was having a focus just fine earlier, but I guess it's because of the shine off of it, it's throwing it off. I don't know. But it goes from a 7 16th all the way up to a big 1 inch socket. Hopefully. Doubt it. Nope. But yeah. Which, nor working on cars is normally most of the, bigger, the biggest thing on there. Unless you're getting into like uh, wheel well nuts, bearing nuts, and all that. Uh, these are the Allen keys. I believe, yeah, this is the standard Allen key set, the SAE. And down here is the metric, which is nice because they're in different cases, so you know which one you're grabbing if you grab it just out the box. Black's the SAE, yellow's metric. But the way they have this thing, this tool set laid out tool-wise is actually really, really nice. Uh, 
like I said, these are the, basically this whole set right here is the half inch drive, right there. The next draw sockets each are this one, the 3 8 inch drive. And then the very outer ones, which are these ones here, are the quarter inch drive. As you can see, it comes with three universal joints, one for each size of the ratchets. And it comes with three different sets of extensions, which they have the 5 and the 10, 10 inch extensions for the half inch drive. <coughs> I'd see what the other two size extensions are. You got a 3 and a 6, which this tool set, I, when I first opened it before, I got confused because this one was sitting out and I was trying to find out where it went. Made me feel like a real big dummy. And then I found out they stacked their socket, their ratchet, or their extensions, which is nice. Makes up, takes up less room. Makes it just look that much nicer. See? Because here's the other extension. And as I showed whenever I pulled this one out, there's the 5 inch. But they got 3 and a 6 inch for that. And, uh, what do they have for... They got three and a six inch for the three eighths also. So this here's the little handle they get that they give you for using bits. It's not it's decent. Uh but yeah, that's what that is. And where the bits are for are actually a little bit of a pain in the butt to get to. They're underneath the ratchets. Which they have normal Phillips. They've got Allen key set, basically, or hex set. And then they also have a complete set of torque bits. Which I don't know what they go to or what size. I'll see for you. Goes to from a T10 to a. What is this one? A T50. So it goes from T10 to T50 for the handle there. Which, if I'm right, is also the exact same as what it does for these ones here. T10 to all the way up to T50. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and then the handle I'll show you on the half inch because it's the biggest, easiest to show you. On all three handles for the ratchets, they've got a uh, roughed up area basically uh, where they've uh, made a uh, diamond pattern design. I don't know if it'll, fo hopefully it'll focus for this. Focus, focus. There we go. It's got that on both there and there. Uh, definitely it's different than what, say, that one does, because it's just a square handle, basically. Uh, so then it's also got these bits right here, which is your normal flathead Phillips, and some, uh, it's got some, I don't know what kind of, like, what carpenter bits most of the time I see the square bits they're with carpentry uh, and this one for the screwdriver does have the adapter uh, so, oh, yeah it's an adapter so as you can use these bits it's not just specifically set for these bits this you can actually use with these sockets here so that is one of the good things about this because it's just got the little square hole on it for use with these. Now these ones down here, these little ones, they're in there really good. Uh, these ones just sit down in there basically. They don't really have a good grip to them. Uh, and then same for the bigger ones. They just pop in and out. But these ones down here, they have a good grip. I guess for some reason they didn't want the little itty bitty ones to move. Uh, you got your two socket, spark plug sockets. Uh, let's see. You've got the 5 eighths.
spark plug socket. That's what makes a spark plug socket different than just a regular socket. If you didn't know, is there's a piece of rubber in there. Whenever you put this over the socket, it actually keeps a hold of the uh, or over the spark plug. It keeps a hold of it, so it's whenever you go to pull it out, you ain't got to fish through there to get it or have it fall on the ground. And it also makes it easier to install it also. So, you got the 5 8 and you got the 13 16 So, but yeah. Um, for the cost, uh, at my Walmart... They start out normally at 200 if I'm right. It's uh, 198 for this set. Uh, I got it because one of their stocking people evidently misplaced it. And I got it for 50 bucks off is why I bought it. That's what got me interested in buying it because it looked like a good price for it. And this whole toolbox, which here's a backed up view so as you can see everything. Uh, it weighs easily over 30 pounds. So... For it, there are, this stuff is built real nice. Uh, let's see, let me get you like a normal socket. As you can see, it's got pretty thick walled for uh, this. You wouldn't want to still use this on impact because it's just, it's not hardened steel like an impact socket would be. If you're going to use something for an impact, you'd want to get a impact socket, which they're heat treated so they can withstand the amount of torque being placed on them. If you use one of these, you're either going to mushroom it out or you're going to bust it, basically. Break it. But uh, with this, it's a nice set. Uh, these bits that go for on a ratchet, which uh, is the 3 8 inch ratchet drive, which would be this one here. It's real nice. Uh, so as you have a good amount. And to put the sockets on... It don't look like it, but it's like the Craftsman set. You gotta push the button in. It's real nice. It's nice and flush, so it's not gonna be sticking up like those ones do, where they're sticking up past the the turnpiece, basically. Here, truly really kind of throws it the whole throw it all off. Uh, what else is there? The case it's in is really nicely made. Uh, it's definitely it's still. It's a store brand uh, tool case, but it's just as beefy, if not beefier, than the Craftsman case. The only thing I like about the Craftsman's case is it does have the rubber on the handle. makes it a little bit nicer to carry. Uh, but this one, for the price, I can't complain due to I have more of the one-inch stuff, which for me, when I work on my big dually, it uh, comes in handy a lot. Gives me, allows me to get more torque on something. Uh, most of my stuff I have is of bigger size, so at least I can do that stuff now. Uh, before, uh, I forgot to show you, but basically there was a set of 10 sockets. Basically it was like this here. It wasn't even 10 actually. I don't know, it might have been 10. I'm not sure. But it was basically something like this wide. That's all that was in there for this ratchet. There's no adapters, no nothing. You would think for having the half inch ratchet, they would have had an adapter to go from the half inch to the three eighths inch, but they didn't. So, uh, so but other than that, that's my review on this tool set and also comparing it to the Craftsman over there. Uh, you can actually see on the picture from this spot right here to there, which is the exact same thing as what it looks like inside. It's 10 sockets. Those are the only ones that are half inch drive. And so, it's an, it's an okay tool set. It could be nicer, but uh, it does work. So, I don't have a problem with it. It's still a good tool set. I'll still be using it. Because uh, this goes down for the bigger ratchets, smaller. Except for the three, the half inch. It only goes to so small and that's it. Uh, but this one I got because, as, as I've pointed out before, all these sockets right there where I'm pointing at, where my finger's going right over them basically, is half inch. This set has none of those, and then this whole row, middle row, there is also the half inch. Well, that one only has 10, 
This one, I believe, has 21. The It's got 18 deep drive sockets, and it's got 20 uh, regular sockets. So, but it's definitely it's a nice tool set. Uh, so, yeah, but that's my review on this. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you want. Um, I'll see you next time.